Chile as the Jamaican Institute of Technology for the first year and a half. Incidentally, in 1948, the Irving Commission established in the Caribbean UWI as one of the institutions of the linked with the University of London that the British government was concerned about a post-war um, um, Britain to develop higher level education in the colonies. So it was UWI or UCWI in the early days and colleges in Singapore, Nigeria, Ghana and so on. By the same token, there was a, a survey group in 1958, 10 years later, which essentially established the basis of caste and, VT and uh, John Donaldson in Trinidad and other technical colleges in the region. So both of these we have to owe to visionary persons from the United Kingdom who saw advanced education at both university and technical levels being important for development. I mentioned a number of things about the developments at cost that were significant for the VTDI story. First, the institution was a supportive driver in the TVET struggle, struggles at the secondary school levels and with community perceptions of technical education the community perception that technical education was a viable alternative to academic education. Second, CAS became an alternative tertiary level institution to the UWI. The development of degree programs at CAS some 10 years in 1986 before the, for the institution was formally renamed a university in 1995 established clearly in the society's mind, the legitimacy of the programs and the fact of an alternative and equivalent qualification. And finally, later developments at the heart program and VTDI provided an alternative set, for, set of opportunities and links. And your list of programs there is an indication of what I'm talking about, which leads me to the fourth and final item of Jamaican institution, the program established by Mr. Siaga in the 1980s has grown to be one of the most significant educational developments in recent times. Started initially as a rescue program for students who had failed secondary school and were wondering what to do. It carried with it the fundamental idea of employment and the skills that were necessary for a particular job. The various direction, the academy programs, and the more formalized VTDI programs are a tribute to the success of the heart idea. Briefly a comment on the Caribbean. I will describe two initiatives I'm familiar with. The British Development Division's initiative with the technical colleges. A number of technical colleges were established in the OECS states, initially programmed for specific skills, so that St. Lucia was to do something, Dominica do something else, St. Kitts do something else, and so on. Transfer of students between the islands was the idea. It didn't work as there were boarding problems and the logistics proved impossible. Eventually, each of the colleges developed a broader range of programs, perhaps the two that were of specific interest to CAST at the time were St. Lucia Technical College, later renamed Sir Arthur Lewis College, and the Antigua State College, both of which sent students who were in education technical programs, sent them to CAST to do degree, to be a degree programs. And in fact, I just had a letter last week from um, the late and, and Marjorie Thomas he was the principal of the St. Louis Arthur Lewis uh, College. He was recently knighted by the Queen and is now Sir Leighton Thomas. And the second item was a multi-island project. Project under the auspices of the UNDP had both UNESCO and ILO 
implementing elements. I see your um, <clears throat> um, comment here on your program mentioned UNESCO. I'm going to come back to this in a moment. But um, the different philosophies, maybe less so now, of UNESCO and ILO were largely associated with education for UNESCO and training for ILO. And that was what I saw in the Caribbean region. Projects with the different technical colleges in different places, some of which had hardly started when the project had ended. I was asked by the UN representative in Barbados to do a review of the project. So, so much ladies and gentlemen for history. I come back to that definition that you have from the um, UNESCO conference in Vien um, well, from the letter I had uh, refers to UNESCO International Center for Technical and Vocational Education and Training and international experts in Bonn, Germany uh, in 2004. I'm quoting from that. Since education is considered the key to effective development strategies, technical and vocational education and training, TVET, must be the master key that can alleviate poverty, promote peace, conserve the environment, improve the quality <coughs> of life for all, and help achieve sustainable development. Um, with respect to all of you in TVET, and I regard myself as one of being one who have been, had to move from an academic environment. I was nearly 20 years as a lecturer in chemistry, senior lecturer at chemistry at UWI, and people said I was crazy moving to CAS at the time. I had to assimilate and learn about tech ed and the 